Meet your man right there, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Oh, yeah. It is, uh, it is lovely to be back, and lovely to be back tonight with uh, tonight's guest coming out here in just a moment, right over there on the old comfy couch over there. We got uh, Broadway star uh, Lindsay Mendez, uh, Jonathan Groff. <laughs> Jonathan Groff and a young man, <laughs> a young man named Daniel Radcliffe will be out here in just a moment. From the Broadway hit show, uh, Merrily We Roll Along, right down here at the Hudson Theater here on Broadway. Um, happy to be back. Anybody over there had COVID recently? Anybody? Everybody uh, dodging the bullet? Me. I thought, I forgot. You know, like a lot of, I kind of forgot, like, that's done. Uh, yeah. And Ev <laughs> Evie, my darling wife, said we should go get the, we should go get the booster. I'm like, oh, I definitely, I definitely want to go get the booster. Yeah. But uh, I, I, uh, I haven't had, like, a, a day off since we came back in. We've been making up for lost time because we were off for five months. And last weekend, I was out in Los Angeles interviewing a big, big star who's going to be on the show in November. The, the star does not do talk shows. Is a legend. Like, truly, like, name the legend of all legends. This is one of them. I was out in L.A., and, and I got COVID from traveling out there. Evie got the shot. She was with him the whole time. We did everything together. And fear not, we smooch plenty. And <laughs> she, did, she, she got the booster and did not get COVID. I did not get the booster, and I got COVID. Wow. So wow. another round for you, science. <laughs> Hope you're happy. I'm so mad at science. I'm so mad at science right now. Folks, I spend most of my time right over there tapping the finest news maples, and then carefully gathering the most topical story sap, which I heat to precisely 219 degrees, then draw off the concentrate and filter it to create the pure amber-grade Vermont maple syrup of news that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I come to an arrest stop dumpster just over the New Hampshire border where I collect discarded Cinnabon runoff and hitch a ride to my friend Druggy Doug's mobile meth lab where I cook up the speed freak sorghum of news that is my segment. That's my Pax Lover right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> like any red blooded American, I spent Sunday with my bros and my brews watching my favorite sport, Taylor Swift in the Skybox. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> week after week, Tay Tay has been bringing the pain with her signature play, partying while making a billion dollars per second. Taylor, Taylor, if those who have been under a rock, has been dating tight and Travis Kelsey, who plays for the red team. And yesterday, <laughs> after he caught a big touchdown ball from QB Patrick Mahomes, Taylor Mahomes' wife celebrated like this. Front slap, front slap, back slap, hip bump, spin around, high 10, chest bump. <laughs> And I'm being told that video just won a Grammy and tickets to watch it in IMAX go for $1,000 on StubHub. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. I want to get in there. Let me in. Let me have fun with you. <laughs> Taylor's boyfriend's team won, and Coach Andy Reid is happy Taylor's become a fan. Taylor can stay around all she wants. Yeah, no Coach, she's Taylor Swift. <laughs> she can do anything she wants. Oh my God. <laughs> Meanwhile, Japan Airlines turned away a group of sumo wrestlers from two flights following concerns they would push the planes over their weight limit. I hate it when they pull this weight limit thing, even though you made sure your sumo totally fits in that luggage measuring rack. <laughs> Meanwhile, Whoopi Goldberg revealed the mystery project that caused her to miss two days on The View. It was a trip to the Vatican, where she met Pope Francis and gifted him with merchandise from her iconic movie, Sister Act. <laughs> I mean, that is really, that's a sweet gesture from a movie star to the Pope, though it will be hard to top the new Pope mobile he got from Margot Robbie. <laughs> I went to the doctor, I went to the mountain. Meanwhile, LinkedIn is cutting more than 650 jobs. Damn it. If only there was some online site for those folks to find new career opportunities. Only fans? No. <laughs> Meanwhile, passengers on a JetBlue flight were shocked when their plane popped a wheelie 
yesterday at JFK Airport. Let's take a look. Holy lowrider, Batman. When reached for comment, one of the passengers said, we're sorry, we just, we're trying to get to our sumo match. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Meanwhile, the folks over at baby name site Nameberry have come up with their predictions for the most popular baby names of the future. And for girls, the front runners are Pax, Iceland, and Snow. In related news, scientists report many baby girls of the future will be sled huskies. <laughs> Who's a good girl? You're a good girl. Meanwhile, in his new memoir, John Stamos recalls finding his girlfriend in bed with Tony Danza, calling it his worst nightmare. Oh, we've all had that nightmare, fellas. <laughs> you walk into your bedroom, you see your girlfriend with a guy, and he's calling out, Who's the boss? We'll be right back with Jonathan Groff, Lindsay Mendez, and Daniel.